Hello guys, welcome to Jira training. In this session, we will learn about Jira dashboard and how you can create new dashboard, customize existing dashboard and then share the dashboard that you have created with other team members. So to get started, you just need to log on to the Jira software that you have installed, the local instance. And at the top header, you'll see the dashboards tab. Below dashboards tab, if you click on that, you can see the system dashboard. By default, once you log in, system dashboard is available to all the users. And the second option is the manage dashboard wherein you can create the new dashboard with the new gadgets or new filters that are required for your project need. So click on manage dashboard and under manage dashboard you can see the favorite uh, dashboard if there are any or your dashboard or any popular dashboard in the project. So since at the moment there are no dashboard it's showing as blank. To create a new dashboard you just need to click on create new dashboard button at the top right hand corner here and it will ask for the dashboard name so just click on just type in my first dashboard uh, if you want you can provide the description uh, it's an optional field and start from blank dashboard or you can select a system dashboard or Zephyr dashboard if, if you want to start uh, if you don't want to start from blank dashboard for now I'll start from blank dashboard because I want to set up a totally different uh, customized dashboard for myself for myself and currently there are no shares so you can if you want you can favorite this will be your favorite um, dashboard and currently it's not shared if you want to share this dashboard with anyone you need to share you need to add share here you need to select either group project public any logged in user and click on that add uh, this plus add button so if you click on that it will be shared with the group so for example at the moment it's shared with groups jira administrators right so i'll just leave it there and click on add so now you can see my first dashboard has been created under favorite and i'm the owner and it's shared with a group known as jira administrators now what all i can do with the dashboard i can edit the dashboard again i can edit the information in the dashboard i can delete or i can copy the dashboard to create another uh, custom dashboard right so now let's go ahead and go to the dashboard and see what all is available on the dashboard so click on the dashboard and you see it's a blank dashboard with no information at all so what you need to do is you now you need to drag or add the new gadget as per your requirement okay so there are many gadgets available in jira so it's it's up to you what reporting or what information you want to see on your dashboard which is relevant for your project to add that on the dashboard so click on add new gadget and it will show you all the available gadgets so if it doesn't list all it, it will give you an option to load all gadgets click on that and will list all the gadgets that are available right so it's the first one is the activity stream if you want to see the activity stream on your gadget um, click on add gadget right and it will show you the activity stream for the issues in your project now the second thing is i want to see what all issues are assigned to me click on that and it will add that assigned to me gadget third gadget which is very important to see the average age chart for the issues so click on add gadget as well and then i'll have one more gadget i'll say filter results all right so i've added four gadgets on my dashboard and now you need to customize or you need to enable um, these gadgets so you need to um, set up or configure these gadgets to get the information that you want so filter results i'll say all completed issues 
so these these are the filters that I already created so you can either select filter for MSP board or the, the project board or the custom filter that I created so MSP bugs or MSP all completed issues is are the filters that I created for all completed issues and bugs for MSP project so at the moment I'll select filter for MSP board and we'll say number of results I'll limit it to five and then the columns that you want to display so you, you can add or remove the columns that you want to display then if you want auto refresh to happen on your dashboard you just need to click on this checkbox update every 15 minutes and it will auto refresh the dashboard every 15 minutes and then click on save right so now you can see this um, filter results is available all the results are available in this particular gadget all right now the second one is there is no filter provided so just click on quick find I'll say MSP uh, I'll say all completed issues period daily and then refresh interval is never okay you can select it you know like 15 minutes 30 minutes refresh interval whatever you want and click on save so now you can see all completed issues are being displayed um, the third one is assigned to me and click on save so it will list top you know like it will list the 10 issues that are assigned to me then the activity stream gadget you can see that it's listing all the activities that are happening in the project so I'll you can easily move these gadgets just by dragging and dropping on the page right so now you can see that your dashboard looks has all the information that you want to configure now the next thing is you can edit the layout of your dashboard so if you click on edit layout there are different layouts available on the dashboard so you can have two columns or you know like three columns depending what all information you want and then easily drag and drop these gadgets in different columns to reorganize your gadgets and information that you want to see on the uh, dashboard right so it's it's up to your you know like the filters or the information that is required for you or for the members in your team that based on that you you add filters and you add gadgets on your dashboard so this dashboard is currently shared with jira administrator you want if you want to share with particular user or particular group then you can share it or if you want to make it private you can delete the sharing option and make it private just for yourself so that is pretty much all about basic dashboard introduction how you configure the dashboard thank you